Are you look Are you looking to start using green screen into your productions? Um, whether that be videos or photos, or it's usually videos. But um, today I'm going to be showing you showing you how to green screen stuff um, in Adobe After Effects, and then getting them into Premiere. And so, yeah. So I have this animation right now, and I just did this simple simple little thing, and. I would say that there are. This was this was my first run with it too. Um, there were some difficulties as far as like getting the shadows done. So, as far as like preparation, I would making sure that there's not anything green or blue. Uh, if you're using a blue screen on the subject, that might get erased. And then you also want to make sure that you eliminate or you kind of adjust for any reflections in. Um, the person so if you're using something glossy or if you're using something um, usually like something matte will do really well uh, where you won't where like the textures won't glide um, but the green will definitely get into all the objects so it's just good to be aware of that um, and there are ways in here that you can kind of um, lower that effect um, so it doesn't look like the green is like completely out of one particular area, and it's hard just like explaining that. But uh, I'll show I'll show an example here. And so the next, the other thing that I want to uh, remind you guys of before you do preparation is to actually get the lighting down really well. Um, in this photo, it's actually really dark, and um, I'm I'm at, I I would it up. So lighting, as far as lighting the background and lighting the foreground, uh, both those are super important. Um, without one another lighting each other, or lighting each one individually, you might have some issues later on when you're trying to figure this out. Um, the other thing is, uh, understand that this does take computing power, and um, I remember when I was first starting trying to do this, and it, it definitely did work, it just took a, a lot longer. Um, to render out, so be patient, and uh, you'll probably create something great. So, uh, let's get into it. So, right now, I'll show you the animation right now. It's only a few seconds long. Um, yeah, so, that's the animation. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition. Um, just because we already have this stop motion, like, made, um, and we're not going to worry about that part of the video. So we're going to just pretend that you already have the composition in. And so I'm going to scale this down. Okay, you guys don't need to do this. Okay. So, um, there's also going to be a few other videos just because I know some people might not want to watch, um, <laughs> this demonstration of it, but there definitely are some other demonstrations that I can do. Um, key, so we're going to search in the effects and presets, um, key light. It's key light and then go down to 1.2. Now there is, I will show you before I get into key light, um, there is color key. Color key, and this is another one uh, that you can use, but there's a lot less features in it. So if I go in the eyedropper tool here and click on the green, um, you'll see it takes a little bit away. Uh, go up to color tolerance, and as you can see, you slowly 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 remove everything from it um, and we're on full right now I'm gonna lower that down a third but um, that's like the best you can do like there's not many options so you don't want to use color key um, don't get them mixed up because I've had that happen a few times when I was first starting so um, so here is color light so let's go through it I, I feel like a lot of people don't go through it and it's very important um, like, I, I went through it through my own, but, um, and I would highly recommend you going through it alone. Um, if you want to pause this video and kind of look over and kind of see what kind of options there are. Um, but there are, there are quite a few options here. And um, even messing, messing around with them has been, uh, and even messing around with them is better than not looking at them. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm to go to screen color and hit the eyedropper and then click this area and so as you can see right away right away 
um, you see opaque opaqueness in this area, which is not good. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go in here and go new solid and go black. And this is kind of just your compositing. So um, that that's my background. That's my background composite. And I believe I do have an actual background composite. So maybe I don't. Yeah, we'll just make a we'll just make a composite. Um, but it's just black right now. So uh, black and transparent. And how I got this transparency is just the transparency button. Effects. Okay, let's go back to effects. And so, screen gain. You'll see what that does. Adds more to it. So I think that's all right, but we got this. Um, I think we're gonna change the whites a little bit. And I think it's fine if some areas are also um, like that. So we're gonna go up here to black and then I'm going to go and change the gradient change a gradient create a gradient map so that's what you use use the color color light and then I'm gonna gradient and we're gonna use your um, orange here and use like a blue so that's a blue um, not bad And then now that you once you have that, um, you can also remove any of these. So I'm gonna try and roll this black out. It looks like it's having difficulty. So this is where you want to make sure that you you get the background as lit as possible. Something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off here. press play and it's rendering out so yours might not be as fast depending on how big your file size is I also downscaled this um, a little bit so I mean it looks alright um, now what you can do is you can also add different effects you can add particles so in this video I remember adding particles um, to the final final video um, you can also add so much after after you get the green screen done um, and all perfected. Um, the other thing that you could do also is you could rotoscope everything. Um, that would just leave the uh, figure here. So I'm going to press Control D and try and show you what I mean. So I'm going to rotoscope. Um, and this is what a lot of the fancy, fancier um, places use. Um, and I don't think it's going to be much faster. It's like the um, it matches the background enough. Uh, so that's how you use a green screen really fast. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.